Hi, I'm Michel from WeDesigner. In this video, I'm going to show the step newel post links, which you can find in the links parameters. In the property section on the right side of your screen, you can find all different parameters. Opening the link parameters reveals all the different type of links that are available for your specific stair. Here you can find the step newel post links. When opening this link, you find all the different settings that are related to that specific link, like the mode, which here is set in penetration, that can be also set in recess. Most of the cases you will use here the penetration value. The penetration value, front recess, rear recess, the upper and the lower recess. There is a section also for the risers that you can put in mode penetration or also recess, and you can put in the penetration value. Be aware that you are now here in the property screen for the complete stair because there is no specific selection of an item. If you do a single selection like on this step, as for example I select the step, you again have the link parameter that you can open for that newel post and then you have the same parameters that you can change individually for that specific step. Clicking outside the stair will show you again the property screen for the complete stair. So let's go back to that link parameter and opening the step new post link. We are going to change some value and see how it reacts on the stair. The penetration of the step here I can change for example to 25 millimeter. That shows immediately here in 3D view that the penetration has been set to 25 millimeter for all steps. I will put it back to 10 millimeter and if I do now a selection of a step and I go to the link and the newel post link I can change the value to 25 and as you can see here in the 3D it has only changed the specific step that I have selected. If I now click outside of the stair I go back to the link parameters and I reset that value you see that the step is coming back to the original value. The front recess value is used when you do not want to engage the front of your step completely into the notch. That you can see for example here in the, in the first newel of a stair and you are working with a system of a front recess you can add here a recess value as for example for 18 millimeter. The first 18 millimeter of the step will be recessed before engaging into the newel post notch. Of course you don't use that on every newel, you will only use it when the actual step front is inside the volume of your newel. Let's remove again this value and you see it comes back to a full engagement. The rear recess value is the opposite of the front recess. There you do the same than on the, on the back of your step. The upper and the lower recess is a value that can be used to create some kind of tenon connection. If you do here for the upper recess you would do a value of 10 millimeter and you do the same the lower recess 10 millimeter. If I turn here on the 3D you will see that you have made some kind of tenon connection because you have done a lateral recess. I'm going to remove this recess again. So that it comes back to the standard situation. I'm opening back the links parameters, step new post link. And we're going to see here that you also can do the same for the riser. Riser only on penetration. If I would change here the value to 30 millimeter, for example, you will see here that a riser has gone deeper into the newel. Put it back to 10 millimeter and the value is set back to 10 millimeter. This is how you can change the parameters from a step 
in accordance to the newel for each step separately or for all the steps at once. So be reminded that no selection will engage all parameters on the complete stair. If you do a selection first, you will see that your property screen has changed to the part name. All parameters change will be done on this specific item. I click back outside of the stair and you see that you again have the complete stair selection. Thank you for watching.